On the corner of Scott and Sterling Street, you can find a delicious serving of soul food right here at Butterfunk Kitchen in Sunnyside. Let's check it out. I purchased the place in May of 22, but this place has been here since 2020. What does the Sunnyside community mean to a place like this? It's great all the support we get. And since I've been here, I've tried to get involved with the community too. I'm sponsored a high school, worthy high school for football and basketball. So I'm trying to, as they embrace me, I'm trying to embrace them. I was looking to just do a daiquiri shop. Um, somebody I knew had this place and it kind of fell in my fell in my lap at a good price. It was like an offer I couldn't refuse. I decided to do it. It was a dead business when I got it. Um, but thank God we've been able to pump a little life into it and it's been, been flourishing ever since. Explain to me what I'm about to eat. Is this a fan favorite before I dig in? The red beans and rice is definitely a fan favorite. Okay. Keith Lee was in, one of the biggest fans of the Mac, but he loved the beans. Um, but we've been trying to work it and bring it back. Look at this. Mmm. It smells like it's gonna be a winner. I love red beans and rice now. And you said you're originally from where? Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. <laughs> Y'all know a little thing or two about <laughs> rice and beans, huh? Talk about the connection between soul food and the Sunnyside community and how important it is. I think soul food is a cornerstone of of the community. Um, see people from all walks of life come in and they they really do enjoy soul food. Mm -hmm. So it brings more than just the community, bring people from all walks of life together, sit there and really enjoy the food. I heard it was your first time here at Butterfunk Kitchen. What are you excited to try? Man, I'm ready to try that beans and rice. Got all the meats in it. We are gonna see what they talking about. <laughs> Who told you about this spot? I remember seeing it on the news. I might have been Channel 2 if I'm not mistaken. What do you love about Sunnyside? What keeps bringing you back to kick it in the area? Man, it's the culture. It's, it's good to wake up and see something that you recognize. 